I've got two heads here that I'm going to try and mess around with in the preseason in case the OG disappears for good. Uh, one of which is the Tribe 7 Ghost 7, uh, which is really flexible. Um, and then you have the Blade Prototype, um, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's a little bit step up. Um, it's pretty. It's a lot stiffer than this guy. Uh, but I'm going to mess around with both of them. I strung this on up with shooters because uh, it's been broken in for a long time. I've been messing around with it for a while. Uh, so when I use a new head for the first time, I don't even put in shooters because I want to see how it flexes. I'll mess with the Ghost 7 first. Um, first thing I can say, biggest pain in the butt to string ever. You can tell by these microscopic triangles on the side. Oh man, I mean I almost had a brain aneurysm trying to string this thing up last night. Um, I use Mark Mesh, so the shooters are very thick. Uh, they have the wax around them, they're very durable, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to, to stick through uh, these sidewalls. Oof, man, I'm gonna have nightmares for a while. All right, so let me let me put this um, camera up, and you can kind of tell uh, what I'm talking about here. Very flexible head. So the flex points on this are pretty good. Um, as you can see here, for a plunger, I mean, this thing's money. Uh, any of you guys who are big plunger guys, all right, right here, you can tell, boom. I mean, that thing sticks right in there. The other thing I gotta say about this head is I've beaten it up a little bit, okay? This thing won't break, I'm telling you. Uh, for all of us OG blade lovers, uh, that's always been a knock, and this thing isn't going anywhere. You can run this thing over a truck. Um, so, boom, right there. Pop. Okay, it's really, really awesome. Okay, great. The only problem is, if I'm in a 50-50 battle, this puppy's gonna bend right over. So if you're a guy who likes to grind it out, I wouldn't recommend this head. But for a lot of you speed guys and you finesse guys, uh, that's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see. All right, so that's that guy. The other is the Blade prototype um, that I've been messing with. Uh, Warrior's working on it. We're getting close. As you see, it's very similar to the Blade Pro from last year. Um, the only difference is I feel like the, the plastic gives a little bit more of an oblique bend um, on the flex. Uh, the thing it's missing is that little flare, man. And I don't know if they're ever going to go back to it. If they don't do it, then we'll never get ahead as good as the OG. Um, so let's mess around a little bit. So, as you can see here, I mean, great, great flex right there. Um, it's a great head. Uh, doesn't bend hard back here, so that's awesome. For you grinders, uh, you're going to like that. Okay, the one issue that I have with it, and, I, and once again, I've beaten this thing up a lot. The thing won't break. But, as you can see, if I take one or two hard plunges, okay, it bends right away. Okay, you can stick it back, no issue, but the flex points are still too low because there's no, there's no flare back here, and the scoop is not different, so therefore that plunging and that oblique angle doesn't really happen, but it's still got a very good plunge. I like it a lot. I would be totally comfortable in the spring. Um, I think I'm gonna bring this into camp for spring training. Um, until it warms up and I can use my OG. Because last year I went through four OGs in preseason. So I think I'd rather just beat this guy up and use this for the preseason uh, first. So there you go. There's a little combination between the two. You got your OG, I mean, you got your, um, your blade prototype. Uh, we'll be working with, hopefully, we get another edition of it. We can keep working on it. And then the uh, Go 7. Um, which is great, flexible head for you guys. Uh, I have it in neon green and a carbon fiber. So uh, there you go, guys. If you have any questions, just go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. I'm not on uh, Inside Lacrosse as much as I used to be, at uh, GregBeast32. Thanks, fellas.